Cove is the heartbeat of Kittery Point. A waterfront destination dating back centuries, Pepperell Cove boasts stunning views of the Piscataqua River. Located across from Newcastle, this revitalized campus is now home to three restaurants, an event space, general store, and a wharf that is open to the public. This community, Kittery, Kittery Point, Portsmouth, because over half our customers come from over the bridge, they literally would just drive by, to, not to get in our way, but just say thank you, keep going, we can't wait. Um, and so when we opened, it was like we already knew so many of them. They had been with us for the ride. Donna Ryan is among a group of Seacoast entrepreneurs who purchased the property more than six years ago. It had once housed Captain Simeon's Galley Restaurant, as well as Frisbee's Market. The Frisbee family opened the market in 1828, and generations of the family operated it until 2011. In fact, it was once the longest family-owned store in the country. The Frisbee family was responsible for bringing community together because if you think about in the late 1700s, early 1800s, people would gather where they could buy food and get a bite to eat. As you can imagine, a post office being right across from where the market was, this is where people socialize. And that is what Donna Ryan and her partners set out to accomplish, starting with Bistro 1828, named for the year the Frisbee family opened the market. On the Bistro's third floor, a more casual eatery and bar called the Water Ski Club, named for the Purple Cove water skiers who delighted crowds here back in the 40s and 50s by dancing across the Piscataqua River. Directly on the water, Frisbee's Wharf, alfresco dining at its best, and Provisions Market, where folks can grab coffee and specialty items. We always wanted to open up our own place, you know, and it was a great opportunity. There was uh, Captain Simeon's in the store, the bistro, and, and the outdoor, you know, so it was just four different businesses together. Chef Henry Aris worked for the Frisbee family at the old Captain Simeon's restaurant. Now he and his wife, EJ, run the kitchen at Bistro 1828. And the event venue is called The View. And you can see why. I got my event space, Henry got his bistro, Donna got the wharf, and we got the store for the community, and that's... We had everything in one spot. As for the menu, you can expect a lot of fresh seafood. Everything as fresh as possible and as local as possible. So we get a lot of uh, produce locally uh, from a couple places and then seafood we can um, buy them right off, right off the boat. The big seller right now is tuna and halibut, uh, lobster roll, fish and chips. Uh, that's the biggest seller. We are lucky and that view is extraordinary that people come here for the food. The decor of Bistro 1828, always a nod to the local history. The Frisbee's family apartment was located in this space where the market had been. They repurposed everything they could. The tin ceilings now adorn the restaurant walls. And check out these old doors. We saved all the doors from the apartment, so the front of this bar are all the doors um, from uh, Frank Frisbee uh, died a few years ago. and. Um, he loved that I was saved all the doors from his house. And you can put your purse on the doorknob. Correct, so the doorknob is a purse holder. On the third floor of Bistro 1828, the Water Ski Club. Frank Frisbee created the club in the 1940s. I've been coming down to this wharf for at least 75 years. John Perry grew up with Frank and his siblings. The wharf area was where all of the kids in the Kittery Point Village, they now call it, you know, where, where we all came together and hung out at the wharf and Frank Frisbee started the water ski club along with his brother David and we just all joined the water ski club and we started water skiing. John loves going to the third floor restaurant area where pictures and artifacts like this flying saucer the skiers used adorn the walls. So where are you? So. Let me guess. Let me see. Is that you? 
That is me. Well, that's because I, I did get a hint earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. But th this was this. I'm going to estimate that I was 16 years old when that was taken. John spent every day at the wharf as a kid, and since Pepperell Cove has been revitalized, it's like nothing has changed. It's magnificent now. You know, it's just, uh, it's really brought a lot of life back to downtown Kittery Point. Pepperell Cove has a long and rich history on the seacoast. The new owners want to continue the legacy of the Frisbee family while introducing this waterfront gem to new visitors. This is not a place just about coming and having a meal, spending money. It's a place where people grab their mail, they walk around, they'll go take, they'll sit out on the shelves. Um, in the winter time, you know, we encourage everyone, bring coffee from home, bring your sandwich when the outdoor restaurant is closed. It, it's to be used.